Ah. If I sound, I don't know, nasally or sick or something, it's because I am. I'm probably drinking like, I don't know. I drank a whole liter of pineapple juice yesterday. I'm gonna finish the second liter today. Really bad sore throat to where, you know, I don't know if you've ever had a sore throat to the point to where it just hurts to swallow, but that's how, that's how it felt. And um, coughing now, that's one of the things I've been uh, fighting off right now is trying to get, get rid of coughing. But uh, tell you what, man, I could never have married a better woman for me because she knew exactly how to take care of me. Uh, matter of fact, when I had all the drainage in the back of my throat, from uh, due to the sore throat, you know, a lot of people's solution is to get a warm or hot cup of water with salt and you pour it in there and gurgle it and spit it out. Obviously, it's disgusting. Well, I have a more disgusting but more effective way to get rid of the soreness feeling in the back of your throat. Apple cider vinegar. Yes, that sounds horrible, I, I know. But I'm not kidding when I say once I eventually... I just, I had to psych myself up to actually do it once I uh, did the whole gurgling thing, spit it out and everything. Immediate relief. Immediately. Um, I know with uh, salt, a hot couple of salt, it takes a few tries to really get it out uh, and the soreness is gone, but uh, I think like that much of apple cider vinegar and that's all it took to get rid of it. Um, the apple cider vinegar like eliminates all bacteria and all that nasty gunk that just sits there in your throat from the drainage, you know, from sinus and whatever causes a sore throat, gets rid of it. She did a lot of other things too. I, 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 we can get into it in a podcast or something, but basically, I'm just shouting at my wife here for helping me get to the point where I'm at now. I feel a whole lot better than what I did feel the other day. Anyway, gonna get on with the video today. Um, this is a video I've been wanting to do. Uh, I've watched quite a few people do uh, their own sort of uh, this this type of video for their channels, and um, I've always wanted to do mine because I feel like I have finally gotten to the point where I'm proud of my EDC, and um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get to it, and we're going to talk about what's in your pockets. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. That's Peter McKinnon's. I'm not stealing that. Um, gonna do my everyday everyday carry. I feel like the number one thing that I should start off with is a thing that I literally, if I leave the house without it, I freak out. Okay, I dropped it. I was trying to be cool. It is chapstick. I I, I don't know what happened to me uh, a while back, but this is I literally cannot leave without this. Uh, it's Birch Bees pomegranate, and yes, it is. Birch Bees, a lot of women use this type of stuff, but I'm gonna be honest with you, this is actually better for your lips than the regular um, ones you can find at a gas station or Walmart or something. I'm horrible if I don't have it, It's, but this is a nice thing that I, I have discovered, pomegranate. They have other kind of flavors or whatever you wanna call these. I actually don't even taste the pomegranate, but this is it, uh, this is mine. Number two, uh, I feel like I should go go ahead and go on my wallet here. This is a minimalist wallet. It is the Clifton Heritage wallet. It's very nice, very thin. Um, I really dig it. You can I've actually have been struggling for quite a few years trying to find wallets that could uh, work for me. Um, I did have the I can't remember the name of the brand wallet, but it was the wallet where you can attach keys to it and you pull them out. It's only two keys you can attach. I attached my house key and my car key. I was actually surprised I was actually able to get my car key in there, but I did. Only problem was that was too small, and then I did I did have a regular uh, foldable leather wallet. It was nice for a while, then that got too fat. Um, not from cash, it's just like a lot of cars I just have to carry with me and stuff. Um, and then I discovered this one. This is very nice, very thin and fits everything that I had in my other wallet where it was really fat, it compressed it down to this. And I have, this is where my license usually goes, but I'm not gonna, why would I show you that? Next thing, I feel like I should go on with the knives that I carry. I used to carry three knives, but that was, yes, it was a little bit excessive, but um, it doesn't matter now because I have two that I like to carry out every day. Uh, 
The only reason I carry these two knives, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and preface this. The only reason I carry these two knives are because I can't find the other ones that I used to carry. And my father-in-law got me one of them. It's in this house somewhere, I promise. I just don't know where it's at. And even though I redecorated this whole office, I still didn't find it. So that means it's not in here, it's somewhere else in the house. Or it could be in my car, to be honest with you. Kershaw, knife, stainless steel. Uh, it's a nice, straight, just silver knife. I, I dig that, look at that. Very nice, beautiful, I love this knife. My father-in-law got this for me uh, one year for Christmas, I believe, or my, or my birthday. I can't remember when. It's, he's One thing he gives me every year, I'm swinging this knife everywhere. One thing he gives me every year, I know I can count on it, is a, is a nice Kershaw knife or something like that. And it's very beautiful. Every knife he gives me, it's it's, it's amazing. I, I love him. And that's why I love my father-in-law, because he never fails on giving me a nice knife. Um, anyway, love this one. Glad I still have this one. If I'm gonna have any knife, I want this one because I, I it's just so pretty. And it actually cuts amazingly. The Karambit, I forgot what brand this is, Tac Force. It's a nice, you can tell I like silver knives. Uh, it, it either better be silver or black. I don't like any other color, really. I, it's not my favorite colors. Um, primarily because I, I just like the silver look that they give. It's nice. And it has this little brass knuckle, I guess, if you want to punch someone. I don't know. This It's a very nice self-defense knife. Um, I don't use this for anything but self-defense, which I haven't had to whip this thing out yet because I don't carry a gun on me. I don't have a permit, but I, I, I would like to get one soon. But I'm going to be honest with you, uh, if I wanted something with me to defend myself, I want this on me. One of my favorite things that I can do with it is just twirl it around. And um, all right, next uh, item on the list is my keys. And I have always hated uh, whatever I have as far as keys go because uh, I don't like sticking them in my pockets because again, uncomfortable. So I have resorted to this clip, which I've been doing a clip for quite a while, a, cl uh, a clip key thing for a long time. I used to have a clump of keys just dangling around here, but I do have an EDC everyday carry. This right here is what you call a key organizer. This is also a, a minimalist style thing. Um, if you don't want to carry around a bunch of keys, this makes you reduce the keys that you use every day. But the other keys that you don't use every day, but you also may need them, uh, you put them on a different ring and keep them somewhere where if you needed them, you go grab them and then go uh, to wherever you need to go. Um, so these, however, is house key, I believe a, ha a key to my grandparents' house, and then my car key, and then this is the little... All right, now moving on. Obviously, now I have an Apple Watch. This is the Apple Watch Series 4. Um, been loving this. Probably not going to upgrade for a long time. I got this two years ago. It's very nice, and I dig it. And I have, like, the nice little black rounded edge of uh, the watch head cover on the edges. I don't have anything protecting the actual uh, screen itself, but other than that, I, I really do dig it. So, it's pretty cool. I don't know if you see on my other wrist. I don't carry this every day, but anytime I go out with my wife or anything out in public, I like to carry this. This right here is a paracord bracelet eight in one survival band. Now this right here has quite a few features to it. And um, it obviously has the paracord just in case, if you're out on your own and you need something, this is a, a, a survival thing. I always try to keep this with me if we go anywhere, just so, in case something happens and we need it. Um, this, it has a compass on it. It's a little janky, but if you tap it a few times, it, it gets set correctly. And I've tested it a few times. I've got my iPhone, which has a compass on it, to see if it's correct, and they match up. So that works. And under here is a fishing line and a hook. If you ever need to try to fish, you can find a stick or something and then tie the string to it and then go try to catch a fish or something. Um, trying to figure out where everything is. Also, cool little feature here. If you twist the head of the compass a little bit, a knife pops out. So now you have a knife for cutting things, whatever you need to cut. And the last thing, oh, there's actually two more things. There is a window breaker on the end. I'm gonna try to get a close up on that. This breaks a window in case you're caught inside of a car uh, underwater or something like that. You have that there. 
And then this right here is a fire starter. Check that. Nice little fire starter. I don't need to waste it because I need this in case I ever need to use it. But um, it's cool. You have all these little features. That's why it's called an eight in one feature. Yes, I have discovered this. I've always wanted something like this to carry around in case I ever need it or something. Um, by the way, if you're, you, one thing for the car, you, you do need a window breaker of some sort in your car. Because if you do so happen to get in caught in water, you need something to break the window. So I'm glad I have this. This is my Groove Ring. I believe it is the Zeus series. It is the skinny version. It's a nice, uh, tough ring. I, I really do like this. My wife got it for our anniversary, um, which actually to this day still hasn't happened yet, but she went ahead and got it for me because she knows how much I wanted this ring. It's a little bit pricey, but I'm gonna be honest with you, it's one of the best rings I've ever had because it's very strong, very tough. It's not it's not too fat. I don't like the fat. It's a silicone ring. I've had plenty of silicone rings. I, I, I wore my initial wedding band and you know, it's black, it's steel, and it's very uncomfortable because if you do all this, you can just feel it there and it's annoying, all that kind of stuff. This one, however, or any silicone ring, you know, you, you barely feel it. But with this one on, you don't, it, you can't, it, uh, it's very skinny, don't even know it's there, don't even sweat in it, doesn't cause any sweat underneath the finger and bother you, you know. One thing about it is you don't even know it's there, but it also lets other people know, hey, I'm taken. And last but not least, I have iPhone, 12 Pro, and yes, I am very proud to to have this phone. It has a, you know, obviously all the nice camera features, the full screen that I really like about it. It's one of my favorite things, and I have on the back uh, a little metal bracket brace, whatever thing, metal bracket you put on the back of a case. But the, I have the leather case, it is the Apple leather case, and this right here is a little metal bracket for inside my car. I have a little magnet mount, so I can just stick it up on the dash in case I need to use GPS or whatnot. Oh, I have two more things, wow. <laughs> Just when you think the video's over. It's very weird that I carry this around, but you never know when you need to write something down. I have a nice inkjet pen from Papermate. Um, nice rubbery feel. It's actually quite expensive for a pen, but they last much longer than any other pen that I've, I don't know, had experience with. And I always seem to break off the little clip on the side. I don't know, when I stick in my pocket so much, that's what happens. Um, use this at work all the time. And then when, I'm, when we're out or something, and I need to sign something, whatever. And just, oh, I got a pen. Sign it out, just in case I ever need it. I mean, you never know when you need a pen. And last but not least is my Soundcore earbuds. These are the Dot Life 2, I believe. They're very nice. Uh, I love them a lot. Um, take them more, I take them everywhere I go. They, they look like a mini Bluetooth, to be honest with you. They stay in my ear better because they have the little thing here. This little thing here that like sits on top, it's the top of your ear. So when you put it in, there's no chance it's... I have never experienced these things falling out because that little earpiece thing. And you can buy those for any other um, earbud if you'd like, but I do find these better because they're noise canceling headphones. Um, they, they touch, they play, whatever. You can actually have an app for it to adjust stuff to your liking as well. So that is nice as well, and I, I really do like that. Other than that, I believe that is everything that I carry every day. Um, so yeah, I really, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I was very excited to be able to film this and record it and all this stuff. I've been looking forward to it. And this is where I'll be doing these types of videos, product reviews, whatever. I don't know when I'll ever do that kind of stuff, but just maybe how I'm feeling. However, however things work out, whatever. I'm not sure. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I really hope you enjoy this video. Um, be sure to check out any of the other two videos that I have popping up here. Be sure to like and subscribe. And... Uh, Stay tuned for the videos. Thank you.